This is just a quick look at how buoyancy can be done in Box 2D. Basic idea is you need to find the overlapping portion of the fluid, which is going to be this green area, and the thing that you want to float in the fluid, which is going to be these other boxes and stuff over here. So I'll move this over here and we can see the area in the blue outline is the area that's overlapping. <coughs> so you use the, the size of that area and the location of it to apply an upwards force to the box. So if I let it go here, it's just going to be pulled up from the left-hand side. If I bring it right inside, it's going to go all the way up to the top. And the relative density of these two things is important. So at the moment here we have uh, this box is half as dense as the liquid. So it will settle in a position where half of the box is above the water. Uh, this box, I think, is about three quarters as dense as the water, so it should settle at a little bit lower position. And this box is the exact same density as the water, so it doesn't really go anywhere. <coughs> so that's the first thing that you need to do. Um, and the way I've done it in my demo there on the uh, in the tutorial is by using polygon clipping. So that means we can have any any polygon in any position, for example over here we can have this, uh, oops, not that one, this one. Um, so this is a movable thing here and there's a sensor in the middle of it to be another water area so that can be a water area inside the box and you can move this around like that. No problem. Uh, the next thing that you need to do to make it make things look realistic is a little bit of drag to slow things down as they move through the water. Otherwise, you'll find that they just sort of bounce up and then down and up and down forever. Um, so over here on the right in the far left of the screen, we have two uh, coins. I'm going to call them coins. And when we drop them, we'll see that because of their surface area, in the direction that they're moving is different, that they'll have very different drag characteristics. And <clears throat> it's actually the the relative movement of the water and the body that's moving through them. So in this case here, if I come over here and take this body here, and if I move the water, so to speak, I'll move the box we can see that the movement of the water causes the body inside it to move as well, like this. So it's the relative movement. One more time. Like that. Okay, um, and then another thing that's probably nice to have is the idea of lift, which is kind of a strange word. Um, but it just means the way things get pushed sideways. So drag slows things down in the direction that they're moving and lift makes things get pushed sideways. So if I drop this strangely shaped block in here, as it moves down, it will get pushed in one direction because it's slanted, it's sloped on the bottom. So if I drop this, we'll see a, a better demonstration. Oops. Hold on. Yeah, I'll drop this straight down. And we'll see that it turns to one side. And there's another coin over here, and if I drop this coin, we'll see the coin on the left has is sloped, so it tends to get pushed further to the left. And another example of that is something like this, where if I grab this thing and push it to one side, because it's sloped at the edge there, it will tend to lift up. So if I shove this directly sideways, you can see it, it tends to lift up. And I'll just push it back the other way. Whereas <coughs> if it was like this, and I do the same thing, it should tend to get pushed downwards into the water. 
I didn't do that. I didn't push it down. I just moved it sideways. You can try this yourself. I'm not cheating. Um, okay. And finally, as a fun little demo, uh, we have a boat here. And this is also to demonstrate the concept of lift. And it's common sense, really. Um, the front of the boat pushing against the water will tend to lift up. So what we have <coughs> here is a little motor and when I push a key the motor will uh, turn on and push us towards the right and if we keep doing that the boat will lift up and it will come to a state of um, equilibrium kind of. It sort of bounces up and down a little bit and I actually spent quite a long time getting it to look like speedboats look because it tended to be uh, very stable and kind of boring so if you let it run for a while without without tweaking it and changing a few things it just sits there motionless on the water it looks kind of boring so we can see when we turn the engine off and we slow back down uh, because we've got no lift now the boat settles back down to its um, position deeper in the water. Okay, so you can get the uh, binaries and source code for this on my site. Go and check it out.